गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन good afternoon uh we will start from the first question only dakshveer <clears throat> waiting for two more minutes for the students to join then we will start with the question it is your exercise 7.3 question number 1 Good afternoon, Keshav. Not morning. So let us discuss with this question number. Discuss the question number one of this exercise seven point three. Just take out your books. See in your book question number one exercise seven point three. Be quick. i'm going to start with the explanation of the question the full question was not completed one part of the question was left start with the same okay so we are starting with this question number 1 exercise 7.3 and here that day we have written also we have started also the question and we have was just going to end the question and the class gets over then so we are starting with the same <clears throat> abc and dbc are two isosceles triangle in this it was given that abc and dbc this abc the full and this inside dbc these two are isosceles triangle it means ab and ac are equal and bd and dc are equal because sides of isosceles triangle are always equal then one thing is given uh, only this thing was given and after that we have to prove these all things okay where we have proved abd and acd congruent abd and acd we have proved congruent okay and after that we have proved ab abp and acb also we have proved congruent okay, those who have not written they can write it down these things we have proved after that ap bisects angle a as well as angle d for that also we have proved congruency those who have not written this question you can write it down see there we were at this point that angle 5 and angle 6 together are making 180 degree look here in the figure angle 5 and angle 6 will make 180 degree first of all no, write these angles in your notebook mention the angles that we have assumed in your figure this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 and 6 okay it should be mentioned in your figure just write it down if you have not written otherwise question will be meaningless 
फाइव एंड सिक्स विल मेक लीनियर पेयर वन एटी डिग्री एंड हेयर ऑल्सो वी हैव प्रूफ दैट फाइव एंड सिक्स आर इक्वल लुक हेयर हेयर वी हैव प्रूफ दैट फाइव एंड सिक्स एंगल आर इक्वल टू ईच अदर इफ दे आर इक्वल देन वी कैन से दैट फाइव एंड सिक्स आर इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री फाइव प्लस सिक्स इज वन एटी लीनियर पेयर देन वी कैन राइट बोथ एंगल एज फाइव एंड फाइव फाइव बिकॉज इट इज फाइव एंड दिस ऑल्सो वी कैन राइट एज फाइव बिकॉज सिक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव Which we have proved here that five and six are equal. So in place of six, we can write angle five. So it is twice of angle five is equal to one eighty degree. So angle five is equal to one eighty divided by two, which is ninety. So angle five and six were equal. So angle five and six both will be equal to ninety degree. This way we can write that AP. Is perpendicular to BC. It was AP, no? AP is perpendicular to BC. And also, we have proved here that look here. This BP and PC are equal, so we can write here BP and PC are equal. So AP bisects BC. so everything we have proved in the question only this part was left to right just note it down after this no try this question at home one more time note it down and we'll move to the next question today There were no four parts to prove congruent. One, two, three, four. That's why the question is just a bit lengthy. Concept is not difficult. Concept is as simple as we have done in other questions. Just a question length is more. That's it. Let's try the question at home. Okay, moving on to the next question of this exercise. Take out page number one twenty-eight. Page number one twenty eight, question number two. We are starting now. This is question two, and for question two, no figure is not given in the book, so we need to make ready. AD is altitude of an isosceles triangle ABC. Let us make an isosceles triangle ABC, where AD is the altitude. So let us make means perpendicular line. This is A B C triangle where AB and AC are equal, and AD is perpendicular means or altitude means it's an height it's a height so height means making perpendicular okay show that AD bisects BC and AD bisects angle A okay so let it be angle one and angle two and both are ninety degree each this question is very easy just write given given AB and AC are equal and AD is perpendicular to BC, therefore, as AD is making perpendicular with BC, it means angle one and angle two are equal, and both are equal to ninety degree. Prove first to prove that AD bisects BC. If AD is bisecting BC, it means what do you mean by this? That BD is equal to BC. Here, no AD line AD is bisecting BC. It means it is dividing the line BC into two equal parts. So BD and BC we have to prove equal. Second, what is required to prove AD bisects angle A? AD 
bisects angle A. So let it be angle three and let it be angle four. It means three and four we need to prove equal. Just one congruency and with one congruency you can prove the parts by CBCD. So how you can prove the triangles are this and this. How you can prove these two triangles are congruent? Do we have anything? Uh, student has written that, sir, by RHS we can prove. Let us see how. Proof. Just take the two triangles in triangle A, D, B and triangle A, D, C. So both of the triangles I have taken. As we know that AB and AC are equal and it is given. After that, angle one and angle two are equal. Both are 90 degree each. Third, AD is equal to AD. Common. There is one angle and two sides. You might be thinking, sir, it can be SAS. It is not SAS because side and one more side we have to see AB and AD of the triangle we have to know AB and AD. And the angle is here, A, it is angle one. Means angle one, what we have uh, assumed that is angle one, then AD and then AB. So it is ASS or SSA, which is not any criteria. So we have to look for any other criteria. Here no RHS we are using. How RHS? Because here there is a presence of, there is a parent presence of one right angle. See this R, right angle. Which means hypotenuse. See this hypotenuse is equal. In this triangle, line opposite to 90 degrees hypotenuse. So this is hypotenuse. And in this triangle, line opposite to 90 degrees hypotenuse. This is also hypotenuse. It means hypotenuse AB is equal to hypotenuse. See, it means this is hypotenuse. This is right angle and this is the third side. So it is R, H and S. Which criteria we've used here? R, H, S. Just write it down. You are not going to write this. This is just to explain you have written. Students are requested to switch on the, switch on the video. Some students are sitting with video mode off. So for them, I'm just making this announcement. Okay, take care of these little things, in the class. Pravid Kapoor, Harshit Preet Tyagi, Adita Gagan Preet, Nal, Avya Preet Kaur, Taranjot, Rohan, Okay, after this, triangle A, D, B is congruent to triangle A, D, e, C. Okay, we need by R, H, S. This criteria we have used here, R, H, S. One right angle, one hypotenuse is equal and one the other side is equal. So both the triangles are congruent by R, H, S. And after that, we can write that D, D and D, C are equal because this we have to prove. By C, B, C, D, it is proved. After that, angle three and angle four are equal. This is also proved by CPCD. So these only two things we need to prove no here, but it's done. So hence proof. Note it down. Uh, it is now 12.16. I want to just make an announcement. There is a test 
which I have planned for you on Friday. Okay, and syllabus for that, you should write it down. <clears throat> Friday. Test of chapter six, which we have completed. And all our advice to practice, first of all, in CR day with all the examples. We have also practiced here in the class. Okay, all the exercises with all the examples. Okay, and it will be on Friday, so I am telling you in advance so that you can prepare. And after that, chapter number seven, exercise 7.1 and 7.2. Test of 25 marks. And you will get this 40 minutes. 40 minutes you have to complete the way you're getting in your. Uh, school lectures, the same time you'll get here. The moment you'll enter, you'll be able to see the test. Simple. Suppose you're entering at 12, you'll be able to see the test. You're entering at 12, 5 is your loss. You're coming five minutes here, you will not be able to complete it. Okay, just after class gets over within five minutes, I want PDFs in my phone. Okay, you have to send to me so that I can check your test. And within one week, I'll give you the result after checking your test. Okay, it will be recorded for your internals also. So take care of the test. You have to send me the test on my WhatsApp number. I'm going to receive the test only on my WhatsApp number. Okay, no ma mails. Fine. And this message also I'll give you via WhatsApp message. Okay, you will get in the homework and I'll my number also so that you should be able to know my WhatsApp contact number. Fine. So there should be a proper test on Friday at the same time. Well, to 12.40. 40. 40 minutes I'm going to give you. I'll be here at exact 12 and the moment you will enter, test will be visible to you on the screen. Simple as that. And during these 40 minutes, I am going to just monitor you whose video will be off zero, zero marks in the test. And I'll throw you out in the, from the class, throw you out means I'll remove your name or something. Means zero marks in the test. If you have to uh, follow the rules, I'll also follow the rules. Okay, fine. So just, this is an announcement, important announcement for you. Uh, next test will be in the same way in August also. So whatever we'll complete, for example, seventh half chapter means half of the seventh chapter, 7.3, then uh, eight chapter also will complete. And this again, I'll take in August like that. In the same in the same way, I mean to say. Okay, note it down. <clears throat> this is your syllabus, examples and exercises. Okay, do that. After this, we are moving on to question number three. You're seeing your book, question number three. First of all, I'm making the diagram. Let's make. This aside, given. One more side like this. Then in this way, our triangle is formed. So this is A, B, C, and there is one median here, which is this AM. It means this and this are equal. Okay, they are medians, okay. After this, one more triangle in the same way is made here. The same way P, Q, R, and P, N. So write what is given in the question after making the figures. It's given that A, B, B, C, 
एंड ए एम ए बी बी सी एंड ए एम आर रिस्पेक्टिवली इक्वल्स टू मीन्स सी द क्वेश्चन वन मोर टाइम ए बी बी सी एंड ए एम इट इज रिटर्न क्वेश्चन दू साइड ए बी बी सी एंड मीडियम ए एम ए एम इज द मीडियम मीडियम डिवाइड द साइड into two equal parts so am is dividing bc into two equal parts an is dividing qr into two equal parts okay now ab bc and am are respectively equal to sides pq qr and pn so this is given and what we need to prove first angle a b m is congruent to angle p to n second angle a b c is congruent to angle p to r fine so this we need to prove so let us prove now hmm so how we can prove the triangles congruent first of all it is abm and pqn abm and pqn okay find a B M and P Q N. Just take these two triangles in triangle A B M and triangle P e Q N. Do we have the things equal? See A B and P Q are equal. This is already given. So this we can use that A B and P Q are equal to each other. A B and P Q are equal to each other. This is already given. One more thing is given that A M and P N. This A M And P N are equal. This also we can use. This also we can use. This is also given. And these medians are equal because we are taking these two triangles. No, we are proving these two triangles congruent. So two things I got. And third, it is given that B C and Q R are equal. Means this B C full and Q R full are equal. If B C and Q R are equal, no, we can write that B M and Q N are also equal. B M and Q N are equal. How? because these are half of bc and half of qr after also and am and pn are medians Let's write this also right B, how bm and qr how bm and qn are equal because bm is half of bc and qn is half of qr so if bc and qr are equal here see this if bc and qr are equal then half of bc will be equal to half of qr okay and how this half is possible how half of bc is bm because am and pn are medians am and pn are medians and medians divided into two equal parts that's why we are able to write this after this triangle abm is congruent to triangle pqn by triple s congruence criteria and after this we can write angle b is equal to angle q by cpct why we have written this b and q by cpct it is not required to prove but to prove the other next triangle congruent it is required to prove the next triangle congruent okay so how we can prove the next see now in triangle abc and triangle pqr in abc and pqr now we have to take the full triangle abc and pqr in these two we can say that ab and pq are equal is given 
we can take this also first i have taken this second bc and qr equal bc and qr a full triangle we are taking no so bc and qr are equal this is also given after that angle b and angle q are equal this we have proved above this we have proved here no so this is also equal so therefore triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr by side angle side congruence criteria so it is proved so these were the only two provings we need to do in this question by triple s and by sas note it down let us do the next question question number 4 question 4 okay okay right i'm saying sir we have not written okay write it down note it down once you will do uh, you will be done then just tell me sir we are done okay so magdeep is it done okay 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 sir okay okay so they are saying sir done sir done so all are done now Hmm. So question number four. Uh, in question number four, also no figure is not given, so we have to make by our own. Okay, so Sparsh is asking one thing, sir. Why we have not took AM and PN equal? So let us answer this also. Why we have not took AM and PN? See, if you are taking this triangle and this triangle, then AM and PN are not the sides of ABC and PQR. we can only take sides am is not the side of abc while you have took abm no then am was the side yes no sparsh is it clear if we are taking abc then am is not the side of the triangle here also pn is not the side of the triangle so we can only take sides and the angles of those triangles is clear and in yeah okay okay moving then with question number 4 in question number 4 be and cf are two equal altitudes of a triangle abc first of all let us draw triangle abc this is a triangle abc a b c Here BE and CF are two equal altitudes. Okay, BE is an altitude this side, and CF is an altitude this side. We can write here that these will make ninety ninety. So BE is altitude and CF. is also an altitude it will also make 90 90 both sides okay uh, using rhs congruency rule 
तो वी दे आर आस्किंग अस टू यूज आर एच एस कॉन्ग्रेंसी रूल एंड प्रूव दैट द ट्रेंगल ए बी सी इज आइसोसलेस सो वॉट इज गिवन दैट बी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए सी एंड सी एफ इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए बी एंड टू प्रूव ट्रेंगल ए बी सी इज isosceles it means we need to prove that ab and ac are equal by rhs but to prove it will take these two triangles then 90 90 this is and uh, it is also given that these are two equal altitudes one more thing is given just right here that altitudes are equal be and cf are equal just mention this also Now proof. See, RHS we can prove in these two triangles. In triangle DFC and triangle CEB. See these two triangles. DFC and CEB. So in these two triangles, no, we have these two angles 90. See angle one, angle two. So angle one and angle two are equal each 90 degree. And after that, BC of this triangle and BC of this triangle are equal to each other. And if you will notice it, that BC is the hypotenuse in this triangle. So no, because BC is just opposite to angle one. This triangle, and if you will see this triangle, then BC is just opposite to angle two. So BC is hypotenuse in both the triangles, and this is common also. So that's why we can write that they are equal. After that, we can write that B uh, CF and BE of both triangles are also equal. It is given. it was given no b e and c f are equal so i have written that c f of this triangle and b e of this triangle are equal to each other because they are given in the question now there is one right angle one hypotenuse and one side so by r h s therefore by r h s triangle b f c is congruent to triangle C E B. If they are congruent, then we can say that angle B of this triangle and angle C of this triangle are equal. So angle B is equal to angle C by C B C D. But we need to prove sides equal. Then only no, it will become isosceles triangle. If angle B and angle C are equal, then sides, then sides opposite to equal angles are equal. B and C are equal, then obviously A B and A C will be equal to each other. Just write it down. Therefore, A B is equal to A C. As we'll use this theorem, sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Hence, A B C is. isosceles triangle so this is also done note it down then we have a one one more short question which is question number 5 try for example 8 we'll do it tomorrow you need to try at home okay and after this no the chapter will get over because after this the syllabus Your syllabus is reduced in this chapter. Seven point four and five. You need. Uh, there is no need to do. Seven point three also you have to do in this. Uh, it is also over. Okay.
सेवन पॉइंट थ्री आई एम नॉट इंक्लूडिंग इन द टेस्ट ओके बिकॉज ये हैव डन दिस वीक तो टिल द प्रीवियस वीक ओनली आई हैव जस्ट एडिट द सिलेबस फॉर द टेस्ट ओके इज इट डन Let us move on to question number five. Example number seven and eight. I am giving you for home and some of the examples I'll give you. That also we'll discuss tomorrow, and we'll end this chapter then. <clears throat> question number five. Question number five. Just see in your book. ABC is an isosceles triangle, and it is given in the question. ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB and AC are equal. Draw AB AP perpendicular to BC. So it is given that draw AB perpendicular to BC. So we have drawn AB perpendicular to BC to show that angle B and angle C are equal. We need to prove that angle B and C are equal. So it is done. I'd be quick. We have three three minutes left. Given AB and AC are equal. And AP is perpendicular to BC. It means angle one and angle two are ninety degree. After that, what we need to prove? Right, angle B and C should be equal. And to prove angle B and C equal, see they are asking us to prove by a congruency. Means uh, we can directly even write that. If AB and AC are equal, then B and C will be equal as angle opposite to equal sides. But they are saying choose the perpendicular line to prove it. Means we have to prove congruency in this. Otherwise, directly also we can write in a one mark question. Okay, but as it is asked in the question to draw a perpendicular, then prove it means we are asking for the congruency. So prove in triangle ABP and triangle ACP. these two ab and ac are equal and both are hypotenuse the ab is also hypotenuse in this triangle ac is also hypotenuse and this is given after that angle 1 and angle 2 each 90 so this is a right angle triangle sorry right angle after that one more side ap and ap common in both and uh, this is rhs so therefore triangle abp is congruent to triangle acp by rhs and by this we can say that angle b and angle c are equal by cp ct note it down exercise is over here this i am writing just for the understanding rhs so that you can you will be able to understand with this that we have used one right angle one hypotenuse one side so that's why these things are making rhs criteria now b and c are equal by cpc d hence proved just note it down and for your homework no just try example number 7 8 and like these examples are important enough example number 6 okay uh, Four and five, and whichever will be your problem tomorrow, that I'll discuss. Four, five, six, seven, eight means four to eight. All examples. Okay, and complete this exercise in your notebook. And soon your notebooks. I'll call for your notebooks also. You have to send me the PDF of your notebook even. so complete your homework this week this week i am giving you to complete your home, uh, work till chapter number 7 complete your work till chapter number 7 that i am going to give you a message regarding the notebook means